Last night, the Pete Sessions news is pretty incredible that, yeah. that we heard. Uh, Jack knows uh, so much about this, covering it over the uh, years. Long-term Congressman Pete Sessions projected now to lose his seat tonight, and that is a bit of a surprise. CBS News giving Democratic challenger Colin Allred the win in that 32nd congressional district. That district is represented here on this map in pink. We have team coverage at each candidate's watch party tonight. I want to get underway with J.D. Miles, who is at the Allred party. J.D., what's happening there? Doug Colin Allred just addressed his supporters to thunderous applause. He told them, quote, you believed in us when the pundits didn't. The 35-year-old Democrat attorney and former NFL player claims victory in a congressional district held by a Republican for more than 20 years. His supporters, as you can see behind me, are still here. He led Pete Sessions all night as the results came in. His victory will play a role in tipping the balance of power in the House. Allred said earlier he was proud to have won without accepting any money from special interest groups. I'm willing to work with anybody across any political aisle or any ideology if they will help me bring what we need here in North Texas. So a historic victory, and next year can't get any better for Allred. He's sworn into office, and his wife is expecting their first child. As for Pete Sessions, a much different scene at his watch party. Let's go live to CBS 11. Steve Pickett for what's going on there. Steve. Uh, these folks here, J.D., celebrating the fact of Senator Cruz's re-election uh, and nothing about Pete Sessions at this juncture. He has made no concession, no appearance in this room. We are told he is upstairs. We are talking about, as you mentioned, a 20-year veteran to represent North Dallas, Richardson, and others. He will fall in this election. Just two years ago, Pete Sessions had no Democratic opponent in this campaign. Tonight, as you know, he had a very big opponent. Opponent who now will, will represent this district, a district with a, a large demographic shift in political ideology. East Dallas, Northeast Dallas, Pete Sessions had seen many of those folks come to his town halls and speak against him. Uh, when we saw him earlier today, Pete Sessions was in University Park in Northwest Dallas, a, a big basis in Dallas for Republicans, not for moderates, not for independents, not for Democrats, and those numbers showcase what we have in this election, a change for the 32nd Congressional District. Pete Sessions will be leaving that office soon. Back to you guys in the studio. Doug.